It was a medical nightmare that led to a new law here in Colorado. Next month, all doctors will have to register any problems from their past with state regulators. And some say these new requirements are going too far. Dave Young is the story. And we're actually talking about a fair amount of doctors here. Yeah, it's going to end up being uh, about 10,000 wow. after it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. Of course, all of us uh, would want to know if there were problems with our doctor in its past, maybe making mistakes that caused someone their life. And that's exactly what led one woman to fight for this law. Parents dream of only the best for their child, like the parents of Michael Skolnick did. But at age 24, after he'd been treated by an Aurora surgeon, that dream ended when Michael's life did. He opened his eyes and he mouthed, I love you. His dad was sitting at his head and he died. And it was like, this all shouldn't have happened. She says a botched surgery on Michael's head began an excruciating three-year, $4.5 million medical nightmare that left the family shattered. Four years ago, and, you know, we went through 32 months of, he went through 32 months of hell. Skolnick says if she'd known the surgeon had a malpractice claim against him in Georgia, they'd never have used him. Um, I lost my son due to um, medical error. So three years ago, she began fighting for the Michael Skolnick Medical Transparency Act and won. By May 31st, all of Colorado's roughly 10,000 doctors are required to register with the State Board of Medical Examiners Physician Profile. The site will give you specific information about a doctor's background, any disciplinary actions, malpractice judgments, settlements, or arbitrations against them. The honest answer is I think it's an experiment. Cardiologist Randy Marsh was at first resistant to the idea. I think we don't know enough to know if this kind of disclosure, widely available, will truly make a difference. The other question is, is it worth trying? And the answer is yes. It also requires reporting of any outside business or possible conflicts of interest. To educate people so that they don't make the same mistakes I did. But doctors have complained the requirements are onerous and unfair and will cost them time and money. Well, if I'm a physician that has a lot of those interests, uh, I'm sure I'm not going to be too happy about it. But on the other side of the, of the coin, is this fair game? But Patty says the last moments of her son's life convinced her everyone should know about a doctor's mistakes. We put lack of quality, unsafe systems in a bad environment, and you come out with a dead child. Yeah, very sad story, Kelly, but the, the positive thing to come out of this, as the mother said, is to keep his memory alive and she, what she's, the chart. let's show you how, real quick, how you would search it. First, uh, you go to patientsrighttoknow.org. We put this link on our website at tothedeuce.com, but then you see, you click on Colorado, mm -hmm. and let's just say, uh, let's just take a random name here. Let's say my name, my doctor's name is Dr. Johnson, uh, per, perhaps, or I misspelled it, obviously, but uh, just, I'm picking a common name. Uh, and we'll just kind of give you an idea what comes up. And again, as we said, this uh, number of doctors is supposed to go from roughly a thousand. Now, see, there are several William Johnsons here, and they're listed mm -hmm. all over the country. We know there's one in Boulder, Colorado, not two. We're just picking, again, random names here, but just want to give folks an idea. It takes you to the Colorado Division of uh, Regulatory Agencies, and it, uh, that, they've made this link really easy to their okay. link. It'll be even easier just going to ours, and it's pretty uh, user-friendly to search. So. For example, uh, you just and then you click on the doctor's name, and it should give you uh, a background. All, this doctor is in San Francisco. It says his uh, his license has lapsed, uh, and so again, that will just get you know it. it and and when this mind. is all, yeah, mm -hmm. it, you'll say you know if it's obvious that there's some disciplinary action on there, you should be able to find that out. Now I know a lot of people will be searching for their doctor's names on here. Well, especially if you're doing big surgeries or yes. anything like that, you really want to know what is right. the background of these folks. That it might prompt you for that second or third opinion yeah. as well. Okay, good tips. All right, thanks, Dave. Yeah. Hey, we're going to give away concert tickets tonight on The Deuce. That's coming up next.